hold on let's stop right here with Funko basically evolving their pops from 2000 and end of 2017 to what they're doing now it's like I have to go after these and so should you because they look amazing let's finish this workout and get to it I want you to show me how to get to know someone like you someone like you I want you to know me cause I know then you'll see we can be true we can be true I want you to see what I see in us something so real something so real I want you to see that this is a love that we both feel that we both feel And how will we ever know if the love will ever grow Without trying, without trying And how will we ever see if we are meant to be It's terrifying, it's terrifying that we were getting at the end of just 2017 our basic sculpts with just these over and over I remember um, the new the Power Ranger pops that just came out that year and if you go through um, all the DC pops they were all the same still the same thing going on and now with those new hush Jim Lee Funko Pops that are coming out. Oh, they look sick. And I love that they go with another series. And this all is taking place because Funko has decided to not just do that one hush Batman pop that literally went with a Gargoyle series, which was awesome that Jim Lee dropped. Uh, Drew up, you got two different series, you got Gargoyles and you got Batman. And then, and the reason why this video is even taking place, 
is because of that Joker that was just released literally yesterday. I saw the pictures of that. Uh, Funko Boston sent me uh, uh, pictures of it. Everybody was sending me pictures in the inbox, and I was like, wow, that thing looks sick. And then I seen a photo, because it was on a projector, of the other ones that they're making too. I saw that they were making another Wonder Woman pop to go with it, which is like, boom, and there was another one, I just can't recall it right now. But it was just like, all right, I'm loving it. You're getting a great artist going together and teaming up with a gargoyle scene and a DC hero. On a piece of paper, it looks amazing. And in a pop form, it's off the charts. I love the new Joker one. And that's where this video is taking place again. Because they're adding to that series. I am now gonna go literally in this video, go pick up that Hush Batman. Funko is continuing to grow that series. I didn't think they were gonna do anything like that. And uh, as we all know, those Batman pops and those DC pops need a 100% uh, redone and makeover. I can see what they're doing with the Aquaman pops. It looks uh, pretty sick. Too bad I'm not into the Aquaman, thank God. Thank God, thank heaven. So let's go, take the long route back, pick up that Batman. What a morning, huh? This has been my routine since I've been back in the gym. You guys are enjoying my vlog concept of me training and me doing my Funko thing. I do it every single day. Oh, excuse me. I do it every single day and it's uh, part of my life. All right, all done with my morning routine. Now let's get down to business. Uh, first we need to do is send out a massive package to Top Pops. I got one from uh, Mario and I gotta send one to Collecting Plastic. And when I say like Top Pops got some good stuff, whole box full of stuff here. Yeah, good package coming. Let's go print up some labels. All right, basically the last of the t-shirts are going out. Enjoy that, guys. I'm sweating and it's 90 something degrees out. I'm just, I'm sweating all day long. This is, uh, I kind of guess normal. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, how in the world do you know that that Batman that I've seen other YouTubers search of, and I've seen posts that they can't find it, how do I know that it's at this GameStop. Well, this GameStop, if you guys used to watch my shared exclusives, my picked up Funko Pops, this is the hood GameStop. So we are in the hood picking up some GameStop Funko Pops. Well, let's go. One thing I do know, they hate these cameras. Oh man, they hate the cameras here every time. And this you guys are probably saying it's inappropriate or wrong for me to call it the hood no i live four blocks from here for three years i actually used to run to gamestop there's only about a less than a mile from here just to go pick up a game before i collected pops I lived here for three years so i have in all rights mind can call it absolutely whatever i wanted basically a hometown for me and there's a boxing gym right down through. Look at that. That said, come to these stores. You can see it literally from outside. And there it is. Just like that. 
just like that. Boom. There's probably another one around here too. Got some elastic girl. Mm. Prince. I know people are looking for that. Pudgy pig, pudgy pig. They even got the Mega Man popping key. I wonder if they have the uh, Rick and Morty box. I'll pick that up. You missed it, guy. Dorbs, they got two of them. Animal City Comic Con stuff. New York Comic Con. Alright, we got what we wanted. Let's get out of here. I will say, though, they definitely are the coolest spot. You know, they're all laid back and chill. They got, here's his boys in there. Talking about who they're buying birthday gifts for. We got this. I'm sure they have the uh, Rick and Morty uh, box. The um, mystery box. They don't have that yet, so we're going to have to make another vlog video for that. Which is uh, okay with me. And I was able to pay for this on store credit. When I returned all those... Uh, if you guys watched that live stream, all of those uh, New York Comic Con share exclusives. Like, I was like, it's way too many. Well, it literally was. And I returned them. Um, let's get in the car and let's get home. Whew, man. What a day. It's only 125. Let's boxing. Insane. Hope you guys are enjoying the uh, content. Um, again, these videos are only going to be once a week. Tops. As of right now, until I get my groove, baby. Until I get my groove. Now, we have the Hush Batman. Literally, it's called the Hush. The Hush Batman DC Collection Jim Lee. I gotta say one thing about this pop here. I see Jim Lee at every single Comic Con, so now I got a reason to get an autograph. Now I can finally be like, hey, can you sign my pop? Because that is awesome. On the back, they have the Jim Lee artwork, which is very nice. This is number 239 in this line. And this is the Pop Heroes line. I love in the artwork. On the side, they got both clear, which is nice. And on the front, called a Pop Deluxe, like they do for Star Wars. And I do love that it puts two series together, like I was saying earlier. I have been picking up the Gargoyle Pops slowly, as I've been seeing them at Hot Topic. I think I own. Uh, Three now, Brooklyn, Bronx, and the Hot Topic exclusive, which is pretty nice. Now let's take it out of the box because I've seen pictures of this thing out of the box and it looked pretty sick. And I told you, if you go to the hood, they got the pops there, Just standing there. Ain't nobody want them. Finally, finally, we got a sculpt that looks freaking amazing. Look at this right here. This is awesome. This is what we're talking about, Funko. This is what you do. Look at that cape. The cape, though, I can see somebody breaking this and chipping this off. 100%. If it falls, if this falls off your shelf, that is going to break. This is uh, dope. I love the color blue that they used. I love it. I love the little stand that he's on. This is what we're talking about. Not even a year ago. We were getting pops. Over and over, over and over again. Metallic, common, chrome didn't in chrome yet, but we're just getting these over and over, over and over. Now look at this. This is what I'm talking about. DC, boom. Best animated movies I have ever seen, ever. Graphic wise, insane. It's for adults. Murders and rapists in it. I loved it. It was awesome. I wish I could watch more of them. I gotta get them on there. Boom. Pretty sick. Love it. Loving how it looks on the camera. Not the biggest, like I said. It's about probably four inches wide. And uh, the width with the cape. Oh, off the charts. Highly recommend uh, picking this up. I know you were able to order it on the computer. On the computer is a pain in the ass for me sometimes. I put in my uh, credit card or gift card and it just is like that. Just does this. 
Unreal. Boom. Well, I will see you guys in the next one for sure. I gotta go to boxing in literally an hour. I'm out. Westbury, New York. Just about a 20 minute drive without traffic. thing you'll see is you're always alone so let's get this last round in do some more sit-ups and we're done Got about probably at least 45 minute ride home. Then get to eat some food. I got some uh, fillets and a salad. I actually love it uh, to be honest. Maybe I'll make some bacon with it too. And then Brittany said she possibly wanted to go to movie night and see Jurassic World. Is that the new one? Jurassic Park? Whatever it was. Jurassic World 3. Oh. Uh -huh. Five. So, if you guys were wondering where all those live streams were, well, they still the time, as you can see. Plus, you're not even thinking about ah, the editing of the videos. Think about the editing of these. Just think about that, seriously. Oh. One thing I will say, I never complain about training, ever, never, ever. unless I'm injured or sick, I never complain. And I know people pay a shitload of money to see me in action, and I make sure that I give them everything that they pay for. I don't kill myself for no reason. 
reason it is, I'm a professional boxer. I get paid to fight and entertain. I guess this will be a bonus footage for it. Ah, the last mile, uh, the last two miles, I really like to bust out, bust out sprints, <sighs> hard. So, another one. <sighs> you know, I'm running at a decent pace. I'm running at, you know, a 9:30, 9 to 10 minute pace. I am stopping to pick up the camera and stuff like that. So, um, I probably might have did. 5.75 which basically would leave us even if I did 5.6 that basically leaves us with 8 miles in the day 8 miles we ran it's uh, 10.28 in the morning crazy right 10.28 in the morning but um, you can see my workouts um, for, for, for this day this is a Tuesday workout it's different than a Monday workout different than a Wednesday Friday, Saturday, Sunday and it gets different every week so Hope you guys are enjoying my first, my first vlog style. I have shot a bunch of other ones, a bunch, a real, uh, a lot of them, a lot of them, but I'm going to bring them out once a week just so I can get the hang of it, just so I get the hang of it and uh, continue that process for the rest of the time I'm doing YouTube videos as of right now. Yes, it's much easier for me to just go to the store, buy it, come home and show you guys it. But that's what everybody does and i'm not everybody and this channel is not about one item or one product besides myself hope you enjoyed this bonus footage and uh hopefully i'll see you tomorrow my goal is to get back into doing one video a day but i gotta keep the vlogs to once a week again let me know your thoughts let me know if you want to keep seeing it like this well let me know your thoughts i'm out these aren't just gonna be workouts these are gonna be events that i do too I know I'm doing um, Mission 22 in a few weeks, or in a week, for the 22 soldiers who commit suicide. We're doing a 2.2 mile run. Um, I was uh, asked if I wanted to join that, so I'm doing that. And we have Brittany's birthday. We have a bunch of little things, and training camp, and all this other stuff, boxing gym, uh, everything. It's gonna be in these videos, because I do such amazing, cool things on a regular basis. So I would love to share with you guys. Until next one again. Over and over and over again in the future, the hardest thing about boxing is making weight. The end. It's the hardest thing. Two last things. One, if every wealthy man told me once, I show up to his house in Florida, huge. You know, when people have developments, there's only 12 developments, uh, homes in this guy's development. That's how wealthy he was. Ross Mandel, he says to me, you got a shirt? I go, no. He's like, you're not wearing one. I said, no. He goes, if you're not going to wear your own merchandise with your own name on it, why should I? Ever since that man said that to me, I try to wear something with my, uh, my logo, my name on it, on a regular basis, on a regular, uh, just in regular. Ross did, I think he's in jail for like 15 years now, since then. So, if you guys ever watch this, that's a lot to him. Um, and then secondly, you guys always see me, uh, with some, you know, I always got a little edge on me, right? A little edge. Simple fact is this. I don't eat. It's 11 o'clock. I don't eat till maybe three o'clock and most likely I'm going to be at the boxing gym. So I'm not going to eat till maybe four or five o'clock today. So that's the, uh, the key to have an attitude, being successful and, uh, doing something you don't normally do every single day. And doing something that you don't want to do every single day. Nobody wants to do all this stuff. But I do it. With no food. And the first time I get to drink all day. Why? Because it sucks. And I like it.